system. The old um, system of a DD15 uh, engine, DD13 and DD16, requires to be pre-filled before uh, you uh, start the engine after doing a major service like replacing the oil cooler, um, engine uh, main bearings, or the whole engine completely. Um, it requires to use a special tool that goes right here. This one is the one then uh, then connects to a primer pump for uh, oil and then it goes to the whole system um, pre-filling and removing the amount of air that is in here because in between the oil cooler and the main bearings and all the other stuff pretty much is like a one gallon of oil then it's all over the engine so um, the oil pump will take a little longer to fill all the system and this will result in an engine damage so that's why Detroit recommends to um, pre-fill the uh, oil system on a DD15 engine or a DD13 or DD16 so this video is part of the main bearing replacement video but I'm going to separate a, me a mega separate video which is the same video from that video but in a separate video um, to show just that part because many people don't know how to do it uh, especially when you don't have the tool right now I'm going to demonstrate you how to do it if you don't have the tool if you have the tool well it's easy you just buy this little uh, um, nipple over here and you remove that little plug and then insert this one and then use the pump and that's it nothing else to do but if you don't have the tool you don't know what to do so I'm going to show you how to do it so freeze we have to remove the oil filter from there this is a Baldwin filter so that's right, it has those uh, little uh, silicone veins around the filter. Next is to install a new filter. This is the part number. This is a lower finer filter. I use this because this is what I have in my area, but you can use any type of filters like Donaldson, uh, OEM Detroit, or any other brand that is a good brand. So. To prefill the system, here is what you're gonna do. I'm going to insert just the filter without the cap. The cap is right there. The filter, I'm going to insert it in here. I'm gonna take it all the way down until it clicks. You hear? Now it clicks. It doesn't move, doesn't go out. You're gonna leave it like that. See? It is all the way down so don't install the cap yet now with the filter in there it's time to apply oil like this I'm going to apply oil until it gets filled until you can see the level all the way to the top of the filter see it tastes like a three quarts of um, of oil to get filled. Now you can see the oil level is coming. See? Coming up. until it gets to the top alright so now we're going to place the cap and close the uh, filter I wanna add a little more alright now I'm going to place the cap and close the filter and now the cap is on place it's tight and secure so and that completes the job of pre-filling the system uh, see, this is the amount of oil that went inside the housing 
and the uh, all, all suction modeled and other uh, passages uh, through the engine. So that's why you need to prefill it because it's some uh, amount of oil then it needs to be prefilled before. Of course, if you use the machine to prefill it, the oil will go all the way to the main bearings. But remember, then I am not showing you this uh, because uh, you have the tool. I'm showing you because maybe in many cases people don't have the tools to do it. So this is the way to do it if you don't have the tool. If you have the tool, it's easy. You don't have to do any of this, but if you don't have it, there you go. This is the way to prefill the DD15, DD13, or DD16 engines after a main bearing replacement, after you replace the oil cooler, or after you do any major service to the engine. If you want to see the whole video where I replace the main bearings on a DD15 engine, which is this truck, um, you can check this corner of the video I have right there the uh, direct link and also you can check the um, the description uh, uh, below this video and the end of this video as well for a direct link to that video if you want to know the real uh, you want to see the real video where I replaced that and the reason why I'm pre-filling the oil system on this VD15 engine um, so this is this is gonna be all I'm gonna be showing you in this video. Uh, if you have questions about this video, just uh, comment below and I will try to answer them. And if you have anything to add, anything to uh, uh, suggest, recommendations on anything, you can do as well. If you want to send some support to my channel, check the video description below for details how to send support to my channel so I can continue making helpful videos for everybody. Uh, like this, the one I'm doing and many others that are coming soon. So, uh, like, share, subscribe, and thank you for watching.